Hey guys, welcome to another video from my year 2017. As we've discussed all week this week, I am taking the September prompt as a question. Instead of, it's all about you, it's all about me. What about, is it all about me? Or is it all about you? So, with that in mind, we are going to do a little special journaling this month in your, the section of whatever journal you're working in. I'm working, of course, in a traveler's notebook. I've made these custom little signatures that go in here. The links for all of the videos and files that I've um, made for this program for this year, um, detailing how I did my setup, how I made my signatures, they're all listed very neatly and organized over in the Facebook group, which is linked in the description below. If you'd like to be a member and get those links, if you'd like to get the free digital downloads and stuff I talk about in these videos, go over there and join the group and no problem. <laughs> we would love to have you. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side for just a second. And we're going to zoom in. This is one of the printouts of the little, whoop, let's go out just a little bit. There we are. This is one of the printouts of the fa digital face, the little face that I did, the illustration I did this month. And this is a free download um, that you can get over in the group. Now I've printed her pretty small on a piece of just plain cardstock, nothing special. I'm going to add a little bit of color to her here with some watercolors. Um, these are just some cheap and expensive Marie's watercolors from China. Nothing super special. I should put some reading glasses on though. She's pretty teeny. <laughs> and so, yeah, let's do that because I, oh, oh, that's better. I can really see what I'm doing now. So I'm going to just, I'm not going to give her a ton of color, but I do want to use watercolor because I want the color I do give her to be transparent. Um, And like I said, I'm not going to give her a ton. And of course, as soon as I start doing this and I turn the camera on, all my devices start pinging. Can you hear them in the background? Because, you know, that's what happens. So I'm not going to completely color her, but I thought I would make her a little bit more interesting. Um, and you could do this with markers. Sure you could. Um, you could use like an alcohol marker or something. I like watercolor. You all know that by now if you're watching my channel. And I know the watercolor is fairly transparent, so I'll still be able to see the drawing, which is great. So I'm just laying, layering the colors. This kind of kills two birds with one stone. I got these watercolors from mm, Wish, I think. They're in a recent bargain hunt video, and I've been meaning to kind of use them in a couple things and test them out anyway. I have to tell you they're not bad. I mean, you know, they're a student grade watercolor. There's only 12 tubes in it. You know, they're not what they're not the best watercolor on the planet, but they're not the worst either. They're really not. That was a little too much water there. Let's suck some of that up. There we go. And let's put a little bit of vermilion. to pick some of that up with just a wet brush. It's really teeny, so she's a little tricky. Oop. I printed this with your standard Hewlett Packard inkjet printer. So the other thing I don't want to do is get her too wet because the black ink will bleed. I'm going to get grab some purple here. Uh, you can't really see that because it's off camera. And I'm going to mix a little bit of the crimson, which is the red color we were using, into it and make it a bit more red. Instead of a blue purple, make it a red purple. And I could grab a smaller brush, and I probably should, but we're not going to. Because, you know, that would be smart and all. <laughs> all right. Her 
her lips kind of smeared. Oops. See, that's what happens. I could cut this out and make this video look proper and perfect, but I'm not going to. So we smeared her face. Oops. Can we see her? Yeah, there we go. So I've got another one. I, pr I printed a whole sheet of them. So we'll do that again. All right, let's try that again, shall we? I'm going to try to be a little quicker, a little drier, <laughs> you know. All those things we didn't do the first time. So if you print your image on a laser jet, if you happen to have a laser jet, or if you download the file from the Facebook group and you take it over on like a thumb drive to your copy shop, then you shouldn't have any problem with the um, ink smearing when you're coloring it or wa or painting on it like I'm doing, or even just like gluing it down or anything. So I'm honestly just picking up just barely any paint at all. Let's pick up some of that vermilion. That was crimson in this set of paints. This is vermilion. The crimson, oops, that's a wrong place for that. Um, the crimson is more of a blue red. The vermilion is a, more of an orangey red. Pick that up. Grab some of our purple. That actually I'm not worried about, so let's see. I could try to pick it up here. This is probably not what I should do. Oh yeah, well actually that worked. There we go. We're gonna leave her alone now. I like the way she looks. <laughs> so don't touch that anymore. All right, so now we need to give her a dry. She looks like she's been in the candy jar or something, right? Like. I don't know, maybe you want to do, if you make a mess with one like her, are we going to focus? Maybe you want to use her, I don't know. She's interesting. I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do with her yet. All right, so we're going to dry this. Shouldn't take too much because I didn't put very much paint on her. Okay. Then we're going to cut her out roughly. I'm gonna zoom back out again. Let's see, there we go. So I'm gonna cut her out. Unlike the other one where I printed it on a sticker, I used the other version of this earlier this week in my journal. She was printed on a sticker and um, she had the speech bubble. And I just put her down in the square. This time I want to kind of try to cut her out a little bit. So. Yeah, that'll work. So we're gonna I'm gonna leave her that way for right now because that actually might work. Yeah, that probably will work. So we're gonna get her glued down here. Uh, I think I'm going to use some Turbo Tacky, Aileen's Turbo Tacky glue. stuck down. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna let her dry for a minute and we'll be right back. Now we've got her in our journal and you know what I want you to do? We're gonna keep the prompt in mind, right? And what is it? It's all about you, it's all about me. So we're really owning who we are this month. Um, I'm having you really think about are you always putting other people first and forgetting about yourself? Or are you always putting yourself first and forgetting about others? In that vein, in that thinking, I want you to write down five things that you like about yourself. We can come up with the negative ones, those are usually no problem, but five things you actually like about yourself. I'm going to do this, I'm going to speed through the process, and I'll be right back. Okay, so five things I like about me. I'm creative, I'm caring. That might be it. That could, actually, that could be a positive and a negative thing because I sometimes care too much about what other people um, are thinking or doing, that they're happy. Um, yeah, I take, tend to take that to extremes. But anyway, I am cute. I don't think I'm like, uh, you know, a model or anything, but I'm not, I'm not ugly. Uh, I'm fierce. I'm fiercely protective of my friends and families and the fam friends and family and those I care about, and that's how I mean that. Um, absolutely fierce. If I if you're in my circle and somebody does you wrong, watch out. Cause yeah. Um, and I'm open. I'm open to new things. I'm open to acceptance. I'm open to new experiences. And yeah, I try to stay that way. So, what are five things you like about you? I don't want you to put the negative things because that's really easy. We can all do that. I want you to sit and think about what your positive things are. And if you have trouble thinking about um, and owning and recognizing what those positive things are, then I really think that you're not thinking and caring about yourself enough. That's my opinion. So you need to do that. That's really important. You can't care about others and help others if you aren't first caring about yourself. So that's it, my little lecture for the day. Those are my opinions. I'm not an expert by any stretch, but you know, take it for what it's worth. Maybe nothing, I don't know. All right, that's it for my week. And I, you have a new teacher starting tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed my week. I can't wait to see what the other teachers come up with. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So think about it. Is it about you or is it all about me? All right, that's it for today. Check out the video description for all of my links all over the place, my Etsy shop, my my uh, website, 
um, everything is down there um, in a link tree, a tree. You click on the one link and it gives you a whole list of links that you can go to. Um, there's also a link for um, the Facebook group should you choose to join in a bunch of other stuff, my happy mail address. So take a look at it, read it, like, share, and subscribe if you're new here. And uh, don't forget the most important thing. Go out and do something nice for yourself because, yes, you do deserve it. All right, that's it. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.